Hi, this is Yanni with another how-to video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to configure an HTTP request. So let's pull an HTTP request into our story here. And there are three main things that I want you to be aware of when you're working on a HTTP request. So the most important thing is the URL endpoint. So this is going to be the service that you're reaching out to and you're essentially asking that service to perform some kind of task. Down here, the method. This is basically, do you want the service to do something specific? So post is typically asking the service to do something on your behalf. So it's like asking Slack to send a message for you. Get would be getting information, like getting all of the Slack channels that are part of your Slack environment. And then there's patch, put, and delete. I don't want to get too much into it, but I just wanted to kind of give you a general idea of what these two key things mean. And then the payload is generally going to be any additional criteria on how you make the request. So do you want to just have the first 10 users in a Slack channel, or do you want all the users that are in a Slack channel? All right, let's actually get into building something ourselves. So we're going to actually reach out to a service and get cat pictures. So how do we do that? So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to rename this action to get cat pics. That's right. We're going to be getting cat pictures using an API. So there is a website called developers.thecatapi.com. When you go to it, it's going to have a quick start. Click on this to get a random image. We are just going to copy this text that says API, the cat API, V1, images, and search. And we're just going to paste it right into here where it says URL. So it's saying that we are going to get a random image, right? That That's really important to remember because when you're making a request to a service using an API, you have to understand what kind of method you're requesting that service to do. So since we're trying to get information, I'm going to switch it to get. I don't need anything in this payload, so I'm going to just hit delete. And now that I have all of that configured, I'm just going to hit run. Now that that's successfully run, I'm just going to hit the one in the top right hand corner. It says get cat picks in my events down here. And as I expand the three dots and then expand the three dots for body and then expand the three dots once more. It looks like this is what it's providing. It says there's an ID called Daho. There is a URL. It tells me a width and a height. So let's actually just copy this URL, open it, and voila, we have a cat picture. If I hit run again, I have another event. Let's look at this cat picture. Oh, that's cute. Congratulations, you've configured your first HTTP request. Now, it can obviously get more complicated than this, but I just wanted to show how simple it can be when you're reaching out to a service and you're making a request. In a lot of cases, you'll find that when you're reaching out to a service, you're typically getting information. Uh, but as you need to request a service to do something, like to delete something on their end or to perform some kind of task, that's when you start to need to be authorized to do so. We'll cover that in another video, but I appreciate you hanging in and I hope to see you next time.